Hey there guys, what's going on and welcome back to Poll Chat. In today's video, we'll take a look at 5 liberal SJW freakout moments. Let's get to it. Number 5, The President. So this happened when Donald Trump was officially being announced as the President of the United States at the ceremony where hundreds of people were gathered. All of a sudden, a woman was found crying and shouting. On asking, the only thing she could say to the camera was that she was sorry to the world and this should not have happened. She seemed very sad and was freaking out on a new level. Jay Trump is now President of the United States. President Obama. What a great address. honor to be able to introduce for the first time ever anywhere the 45th President of the United States of America, Donald Trump. Yeah. 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 One time, when the cops were on the stop carrying their routine check, a woman entered their space and started recording them saying that they were being racist by checking only brown people. The cop went to her and explained the situation at first and asked her to record without interfering with their job. Later, he simply warned her that he would arrest her, which was, well, embarrassing to say the least. Close that information. Let me give you some advice. When okay. we're on a traffic stop, you are not legally allowed to walk up and interfere with our traffic stop. You can stand back and record as much as you want to, but if you interfere with the traffic stop again, I'm gonna arrest you for interfering. Okay. Do you understand that? Don't ever interfere when one of my guys is on a traffic stop. Okay, my name is Sergeant Dave Ernst. I'm with the State Police Gang Task Force, all right? This is your last warning. If you ever walk up on one of my officers during a traffic stop, I will place you under arrest. All right. Number three, the store. So this video is made out of a store where a man has come to pick up this product for his wife, but things go south when the salesman refuses to allow him to buy anything and rudely asks the customer to leave the store. Although the guy had been nothing but nice to everyone there, but the man working there for some reason couldn't bear his presence and started to throw insults at him and even tried to hit him. After a lot of argument, the salesman called the police and told them the whole scene. After a few minutes later, the SJW still hadn't moved and made sure that he left the store with a certain product. I did find the item that I wanted and the Sir, next thing he said was that he'd like me to leave. If you do not stop recording in my store, I'm going to call the police and ask you to leave now. Please call the... That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Can right, we, we can call Fox 5 and all sorts of stuff. I'd like to... I would like I'm to purchase something here. First. Please do call your boss because I will be calling corporate. Go for it. I am looking forward to releasing this video because I just want to purchase something. Off, dude. Off. Get the off of here. Dude. Off, man. Number two, against the president. So this one comes straight from the protest that took place in America against Trump. That was when a huge crowd got divided into two to support half the people. At this one place, two participants of the group came face to face and started insulting each other, although the anti-Trump group was all hyped up, but then supporters of Trump made sure that they let the others know what they think about them. Number one, Great America. This one yet again comes from the times when people were divided into two groups, one that supported Trump and one that didn't. This was when a guy went over to a woman and questioned her about the slogan on her hat, which was offending the people moving around. He made sure that she knows what Make America Great Again means and also mentioned how offensive her slogan is. Somewhat biologically obligated. I thought they were just here because Trump said grab them by the...
Yeah. And therefore, they're walking around in vagina suits. Yeah, I kind of wanted to get one of those hats. I thought I would blend in a little better, but I, then my dad would probably get upset with me. Yeah, I want to know what when America was great that you want to go oh, back to that. Well, Make America Great Again is a slogan, and so that's open for someone to interpret. When I interpret Make America Great Again, I don't interpret that as making it great again as a set time period. I interpret that as certain values that have been lost returning. Can you explain what pussy power means? These were the times when the SJW couldn't hold back and went for it. Well, this brings us to the end of another video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be seeing you again in another video soon. Until then, take care and goodbye.